August. Uh, we welcome to the show and to the desk, good friend of ours, Dr. Eugene Churdy from Heartland Plastic Surgery. And every now and then we just like to come in and talk about things that everybody are talking about, everybody's talking about yeah. when it goes across, the, or actually in this case, around yeah. the world. People are yep. talking about something that happened a month or two ago that people are still a buzz over. Yes, if, you, if you'd like to talk to me this morning about uh, Caitlyn Jenner, about uh, what she had done, and just talk about this whole uh, buzz about transsexual surgery in general, mm -hmm. I'd be very happy to you know, clarify it, clarify it for yeah, people so who are watching. Yeah, so what was the process? We always, we heard about, oh, we had this done, had that done, but we never got the details as to what exactly happened. This is actually something that's been developing for, for a very long time. The first transsexual surgery was actually performed in Germany in 1931. Holy and there God, were, that long there, ago? Yeah, this, this has been going on for a long time, and I guess this, this as a medical condition, has been considered uh, you know, mainstream medicine back in, oh, you know, for decades in places like the Philippines, Thailand, and India, in mm. fact. So in America, it's just now, it's, we're seeing where it started to get, get exception and it's started to, it's accepted rather, and we're starting to see insurance companies even pay for it. You know, state, uh, state and federal insurance plans are now paying for it. In Oregon, you can get it paid for when you're 15 years old. And now uh, Aetna is the big carrier, that, and Aetna is available in Iowa that will cover this kind of surgery. Didn't realize wow. that. No, yeah. Neither. Now the transformation, um, in, in, some people thought it was really subtle, wasn't that much of a transformation, but others thought it was dramatic. Well, you know, it's, you know, you look, look. It's your eye, I guess, is the best way to say. The normal sequence of transsexual surgery is actually to first know that you have have a mental condition called gender dysphoria, and gender dysphoria is the disease where you just are absolutely convinced that you're in the wrong body. It's not actually a, a disease until it starts to interfere with your life and cause chronic depression, interference with the relationships, and problems with functioning, problems with work. A lot of people have a variety of mental conditions, but they're not considered to be mental illnesses until they start interfering with your normal function. Mm. And so with a diagnosis of gender dysphoria, that's when you can start looking at things like sex change operations. Actually today they call it uh, sexual transition, so it doesn't emphasize surgery so much. Mm. It's, it's a lot of uh, psychological counseling, a lot of psychotherapy, and then you start kind of slow with with, uh, for example, with hormone therapy, which is exactly what Bruce Jenner did before he became Caitlin. Started with hormone therapy. How long of a process was that? Ideally, it's a, yeah, it's there's, a long. Yeah, there's Bruce there. Okay, there he is. Now, this guy, I just have to point out, very, very masculine features. One of the, thing, one of the things that really is really considered a highly masculine feature is the big jaw. The big jaw right, and the large like chin. Right, big boxy. Yes. Square. Yeah, and the old days they would call that a lantern jaw, actually. And a it was lantern very, jaw. Yeah, that was an old expression for it, and, and in Ho that's what they call it in Hollywood. And that was considered one of the most masculine defining traits. And, and you're a real macho kind of guy for a real masculine role. And an Olympic decathlete, you know. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. By the way, this is an inter interesting, there is a Iowa connection. Do you know that he got his start in sports in Iowa? Mm -hmm. He was a football player uh, in Lamoni for the Lamoni right. Yellow Jackets. Yeah, I had mm -hmm. heard that. Yeah, and he hurt his leg, and his coach uh, got him to change over to track. How's That's that? That's right, I forgot about that. So, so now we're starting to see a bit of a change. Here you see him probably with, with hormonal therapy he has gotten a little older this is before he had i think a facelift but he still has the lantern jaw he still has the thin lips that a man has but you can see he's starting to soften up and i think this is at the stage just of hormone replacement okay where he's starting to grow some breasts also and he said that this is the first thing that he did mm. it's the first thing that he did and this actually would be the normal first step now here this is after he's had this is called facial feminization surgery now, if you, if you have uh, gender reassignment surgery performed, normally there's a, a phase of, of a, let's say it's man to, to woman, you know, it's a matter of breast implants, and it's a matter of, of you know, making and reconstructing new, new genitals from, from the previous ones, and they actually, there's a very sophisticated surgery, very sophisticated surgery well, to do this type of thing. it's multiple surgeries, isn't it? Usually is something that's complicated. But this is the part actually that insurance doesn't cover. So he just went and got and got this done, yeah. which the length of uh, operations is actually quite long. His was his took ten hours, 
which is wow. a while, but he had his hairline raised up because that looks more feminine. He had his brows lifted really? because men typically have lower, more horizontal brows. This is part of the Kenny uh, Rogers story, but we'll talk about that on another episode. Oh. <laughs> cheekbone implants were put in. Look at those big cheekbones. It's yeah. a very feminine thing. And the jaw was reduced and the chin was reduced. Wow. And that, I think, was probably actually the most time-consuming like thing. Is that like carving bone when you're doing that? Exactly. Oh, and that is... Really? And oh. I was amazed he wasn't more swollen because he had this in March and he looked pretty good pretty soon after the surgery. Mm. And when you're working on the bone of the face like that. Yeah, there's before, there's yes. like a four picture again. Yeah, look at, look at the width of the jaw, very square on the sides and the prominence of the chin. See, so that was reduced extensively. <sighs> the lips were lifted and enlarged. And then one of the real giveaways, if you're not sure if someone you know, is a transsexual uh, male to female or, or a birth female, the way you know usually is the Adam's apple right. is the giveaway, and he's had his Adam's apple reduced. Oh. And that's so they shave his Adam apple. How do you reduce an Adam's apple? It's it's a matter of carving the cartilage until it lays flat. And do you just sulk in a bathtub full of Demerol after this? I mean, it just sounds like it's very painful. It, well, it's there. You go. It's I, you know, actually, facial surgery is not as painful as surgery on other areas. But okay. it's de he definitely had a lot. Wow. He probably had big pain medicine. The one thing that he hasn't had done, which there's other sophisticated things you can do, you can actually shorten the vocal cords to okay. change the voice the range voice. to make it a feminine voice. Mm -hmm. So this is these these are the things though that your none of your insurance plans cover. They're co considered the cosmetic part. Okay. But the other part is you're starting to see you know, insurance coverage for this. But this wow. is also very common if someone is going through this transition, they're going to be going through these various surgeries. Well, they'll want these surgeries. They won't necessarily be able to afford them. I think, I think, you know, his feminization surgery of the face probably, I know that had to be like a $100,000 surgery probably. Wow. Crazy. So a lot of people that suffer with gender dysphoria can't always afford that. Can't always afford that part and this is this is a big and and they say because they can't afford it because the state doesn't cover it they become victims of discrimination and so forth. Gotcha. Hmm. So this is still a very controversial area. There you go. Well, great information. Yeah, that was so really much. interesting. Yeah, well, this is interesting. This explains yeah. this to you guys what's going on. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, tell everybody where your place is located in case they have some questions. Yes, I'm at 500 <laughs> Oh, I'm starting to give you my home address. What am I doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Come visit him at home. He can have some coffee. 